Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and welcome to another episode from me, Avamance, on Avamancia, my Minecraft 116 survival solo server. Oh my goodness, we have got an awful lot to try and get done today. In previous episodes, we have started to build the fortress out, we've started to build out the town, we've done the harbour, we've done stuff in the nether, we've done stuff in other areas. This time, I want to try and get myself a bit of a border to this first village and we're going to try and achieve that through use of a wall but this wall has got to be quite big because well the village and when you incorporate the citadel that's quite big too i'm a little bit worried about resources now since i saw you last i've put a few new buildings into here uh, including this little one here actually remember there was the the tiny little white wall well this building turned out of that tiny little white wall thing i've also put this area here just to separate the church from the harbor so this is kind of like the customs holding area kind of a mega I know it's not quite a merchant but it's sort of that type of deal i've put in a load more of the grass and the bushes i've put in a little bit of a water feature and a number of other buildings as well and we will have a look at those but what i do want to do is i want to try and get across to the edge of town over here because i want to walk the wall with you I've come out to the edge of the rocks on the harbour. Behind me there, you can see the boat that we did in the last episode. It was only a little boat, but it came out quite well. And I think I just saw the dolphin that we saved from certain death as we pushed it off of the jetty. What on earth it was doing on the jetty is anyone's business, frankly. But I'm out here because just behind me round here is the start of the city wall or the village wall or whatever it is you want to call it. There's a dolphin. I knew I saw him. So I'm just gonna walk the wall with you. It's quite a long old wall and I'm gonna to need to build it up. I need so much resource. The amount of cobble that this took to do. Don't, don't jump out again. And now you've got your nose stuck in the dirt. You're insane dolphin for goodness sake. This took a lot of cobblestone just to run this around, but I'm gonna be doing it out of stone so it makes sense. So the wall comes up and around, except I can't even walk the wall. Get up there, go on. The wall comes up and around here and steps up ever so slightly going two and then up two and then up two and then up and then it carries on doing that until we get around to this edge here which means we're skirting around the back of the merchant's house that i released a little while ago i thought i'd copy that through that's been in there since the last episode we then come all the way around the back here around the back of these other villager houses a little bit of a straight line down here until it comes up around the back of this side so we're kind of the other corner of the village now as well and you can see we're around the back of the stonemason's house that i've added since last time you saw me and then it just continues around we're going to put some gates in but at the minute i just wanted to measure around the actual wall because we're going to have roads coming in from a few different directions to feed into this village this is a pretty busy village i think this one and then we can start to do all the outside detailing as well coming around the back We've got a couple more buildings as well. I don't know if we've got all the buildings that we want in the village yet, but we're certainly getting closer. We've got some honey there that I've not harvested. I might go and get that in a minute. But And then the, it just continues to go all the way around and up and over. Oh, Elytra taking the mickey out of me. And it comes down and around until we start to come around the back of this part of the village and it kind of cuts through these trees. And I think we're probably gonna to have to get rid of these trees because they're not gonna work there, at least some of them. Um, or maybe we incorporate that into the woodcutter's forest, not entirely sure. And it just carries on around here and up. And you can see it winds through this foresty area that definitely will be part of the woodcutter's forest. It's got that hole there that I need to do something with, definitely. And then continues up and around doesn't go as far as that um forest over there the spruce forest comes up and down brings in all of this area that we're going to fill up with something not entirely sure what yet we've got the edge of the citadel right there it's got the um the portal just around the back of the citadel that we're going to somehow incorporate into that and then up and along until we jump across this water and come up and along to the edge of the citadel right here so that is the wall. Frankly, I may have bitten off more than I can chew.
but I have decided that is going to be the wall. So we need to build this up in this episode. We're going to get this not completed because I'm not completely insane, but we're going to perhaps do a little bit more work on it, work out where the gates are going to be and that kind of thing. Also going to try and get another couple of things done in this episode too. So plenty for us to think about. Also, we need to get some farming area in, don't we? We haven't got any real farming area and these guys have got to eat. Oh, we're in Elytra. When you try and jump up and down just one block, the elytra engages and it floats your face into the dirt. It's not very comfortable. I've grabbed three shulkers and I've filled them up with a load of stuff as well as popping down a bed and a crafting table. So we've got various stony bits with some extra sprucey stuff. We've got loads of stony bits there because this is going to be primarily stone as well. And that we've got some other stony bits and again some more wood and a little bit of dirt if we need to terraform. I don't know how far we're going to get with this wall, but we're going to start over in the corner behind me and we're going to work our way along and get at least into the woods, I think. So let's have a crack at that right now. start on it it's very square and quite harsh and I want to do something down here that I don't know just looks a little bit more fancy because that's I think that falls under the general heading of a little bit rubbish but what I am quite keen on doing is making it less harsh and I don't know whether or not I should go oh I'm flat blooming elytra don't know whether I should go a little bit further let's pick up those whilst I'm there or whether I should do some unharshing of it now I'm also quite keen to get some wall walking capability so we've got a two wide wall which is what i'm after but i need to put something on the sides i don't want it to be just a big stone wall going all the way around it needs to be a little bit i don't know a little bit prettier than that so what i'm wondering have i got if i put these here like that what i'm wondering is if i can get let's just do it on these sides because the when you do it a diagonal it's always the hardest bit in it so if i was to put what is it about squid where they always wish to kill themselves? They're proper suicidal, that fella there. Look, I might take that. Black is always handy, isn't it? You know, so his death wasn't in vain. Let's get rid of those. Um, I wonder whether or not, if I can put some of these kind of like that, that will give a little bit of extra width on the wall. And then I can put... So, no, not like that, for goodness sake. No, that's the one you want. There we go. Is that... Why are you doing that, Squid? Have a word with your mate. Oh. Look, no, don't get him away. Look, there's loads of there's loads of ink all over the place. Who needs a squid farm? Seriously. Just wander around with squids there and they'll just kill themselves for you. There's no worrying about it. So, anyway, back to the point, other man. You're doing it... Really? You're just too daft. What's going on? Are you going to do it too or are you alright? For goodness sake, what is it? Okay, so if I pop that there like that. So if I just come up the top, I need to do it every time on the other side as well. But I'm just, I know I'm just sort of ambling myself around it. But if we've got that level of width there like that, that makes that has needs something doing with that, doesn't it? Um, 
that then has to come out that would be there that would be there 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 and there right that means we've got the width to walk on and then we can just use have I got any other steps I've got some cobble steps as well we could then potentially just use cobble steps mixed in with the stone steps and maybe get myself some other steps as well like that how does that look on the outside does it look rubbish Okay, there's not too bad. It still looks a little bit, there's another dead squid. Still looks a little bit harsh, so we need to fix it up a little bit. But that looks okay. I think we're gonna go with that. Um, so I know what's going on. And then we'll carry on a bit more wall. Right, let's crack on again. to look all right i think we've got kind of some edging to the wall it's not that tall but i didn't want it to be but what it is is a little bit gray i think we need to ungray it i'm going to pull in some wood effecting onto this i think it needs a little bit of wood just to bring it home not entirely quite sure how we're going to do it yet but surely hmm, i also don't like the fact that that goes three higher than that goes too high and it kind of stays too. I might have to fiddle around with that to make that a little bit taller. Not sure. Anyway, I definitely need to detail it up. It needs to have a little bit more. We need to do something a little bit more special with that thing under there. But in the meantime, let's go over to the Aververse to say thank you to a few people. The Aververse is my family of servers. There are a number of them. There's my no whitelist server, Quarrycraft, where anybody can play. There is also Avatopia for my patrons, which you can get to through a warp in this massive building behind me. We've also got the diamond deck for my tier four patrons and other servers as well, like the resource world and this really gorgeous area that we are in right now, which is my lobby world. More to come as well. And I just wanna say thank you to a few people that have contributed over the past couple of weeks. If you wanna jump this, then there is a timestamp in the description below, but I'd, I'd ask you just a couple of minutes of your time to introduce you to these really awesome people. First up, I am in my members garden. This is dedicated to YouTube members. And I want to say thank you very much, Jason Luth. I've got you some special armor on there, my friend. Thank you very much for coming a YouTube member. I'm hugely grateful. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for your support. Running into Avatopia Manor now. As I mentioned earlier, the warp to Avatopia is located within this building and that takes you to the awesome community that is Avatopia. But I wanna say thank you to some cobblestone people. And right here in my cobblestone hall, my tier one patrons, I want to say thank you very much, Gertrudez. Thank you very much for becoming a cobblestone patron. I really hope you enjoy Avatopia. It is brilliant to have you in the community. And Mad Monk, you were like minutes away from being mentioned in last time's video, but you just missed the deadline, unfortunately. So I'm delighted to say hello, Mad Monk. Brilliant to see you in the cobblestone ranks right now. Thank you both very much indeed. 
Running up the steps to the next level, this brings me out into my Redstone Hall, the most popular hall of all. And I've got a few more people to say thank you very much to over here. First off, Matty Pixel, thank you for becoming a Redstone patron. You look fantastic in that armor. I'm really glad you've joined the community. It's brilliant to have you in. Thank you so, so much. Warbird212, brilliant to have you as a Redstone patron. I hope you've got a strong shoulder there, my mate, because you are holding up all these other wonderful people to your right hand side. Thank you so much for becoming a patron. Timothy, thank you for becoming a Redstone patron. It's brilliant to see you up here. You look fantastic in that armor. Custom made for you, that is, by the way. And I really like the fact that you stood on top of that Redstone block. Thank you so, so much. Anonymous OG, superb to have you in the community, my friend. Really good to see you, and I'm delighted that you decided to become a patron. Thank you so, so much. Louis, Louis, thank you for being a patron. You're looking great in the armor, looking very swish on top of that redstone block. Thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. And Dr. Fortrack, it's so wonderful to have you back. Thank you so much for becoming a patron again. It is great to see you on top of that redstone block, and I bow down to you and everybody else. Thank you. I just want to pop upstairs now because there's one other person I want to say thank you to. I am stood in my iron hall now. This is a big old, I would say, potentially over optimistic hall. My iron patrons are tier three and often tier two patrons make the decision to upgrade because upgrades are allowed. But no iron patrons today. I do, however, have one other person to say thank you to through this door here. This is the diamond deck, and we're coming onto the jacuzzi side of the diamond deck because I want to say thank you very much to Seamus Moon. Seamus, thank you so much for becoming a patron again. It is brilliant to have you back, my friend. Really missed you in the community, and it is an absolute delight to be able to put you pride of place right outside the tea parlor, very, very close to the diamond deck server warp, which is through that jacuzzi. Thank you so much. Really, really good to see you again. Let's take ourselves past the central island of this really beautiful lobby server over to the gorgeous tree where we're going to come and say hello to my next mate in the mate space. We are running through the mate space now going past all of season one of Avamancia's mates of which there are loads of you look at you blow me but we've got to come all the way round here to the yellow area that is season two. Really good to see all of these absolute wonderful people lurking around in this area. Thank you very much indeed for being such gorgeous people. But today, next to Laney Riot, we have got put someone else. Who's it gonna be? The mate for episode 16 is Craftio Plays. Craftio is such a delight to be able to put you in the mate space. Surprised I've not done it before. Craftio is a very, very good artist and he does some of the renders, the Avo renders that I have in some of my thumbnails and other areas as well. Brilliant guy. Really delighted to put you into the mate space. So boom, episode 16 belongs to you, my friend. Let's get ourselves back. That wall isn't gonna build itself. We've done a bit more and I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm getting just a little bit of wall fatigue. But in reality, I think it's coming on okay. If I just walk along the wall, you can see I've got these crenellations up. I've lifted this section up perfectly, I think now. And at the other end, we have got the archway over that river and it kind of comes down here, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm really pleased with the way it works. But we've also put in some wood accents in there as well, just to make the the wall just looks a little bit more interesting now. It's not done. I've not got nearly enough bushes to be able to do what I want to do with it at the moment. So I need to up that. But all in all, I think it's coming on all right. Well, I might have a bit of wall fatigue, but I think I need to carry on just a little bit longer to get this wall going. Otherwise, well, it's a bit of a non-event just from over there, isn't it? I'm gonna go and have a sleep and then we'll crack on. Let's go.
carried away and did more than I thought I would, but actually I'm quite pleased with the way it turned out. We've managed to get ourselves a wall with a decent walkway all the way down. It's lit up so nothing's gonna spawn on it. And we went a fair distance. We got even as far as this point here, and we're quite safe because the spiders can't climb up it. We can get shot at if they've got a good angle from skellies, but other than that, we're all right. It's a bit bouncy in places, but I can live with that. And we've got this tower just here that allows you access to the outside world on the inside. And you can climb up the ladders to carry on to the second bit just there. I'm quite pleased with the way it found out, but it's going to be a complete nightmare to go all the way around. I've got some serious resource gathering to do because this has properly depleted. My inventory has dropped through the floor as a result, but never mind. It's worth it, I think. It's came out pretty well. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you enjoyed them and I will keep on making it. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.